Shepard. He is four years old and he has quite a bit of socialization to do. He needs to socialize with people and he needs to socialize with dogs, especially male dogs, because uh, he's got some reactivity going on there with some male dogs. He also pulls a ton and he isn't so easy on himself there. So uh, we need to work on that. And we also need to work on his obedience, his recall, because there's a new little kiddo in his home and he needs to know how to really act around the home and act around that kiddo. So let's see first what he knows, because his dad said he knows a lot with food, but he doesn't know how he's going to react with affection. So, Levi, can you come? Can you come? Good come, kind of. Good boy, good come. Levi, can you sit? Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit. Oh, sit, good boy, you go back to see. Okay, can you down? 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 I'm not gonna down. Okay, well, how about healing? Levi, can you heal? Heal?
Go for it. My name is Dylan. Uh, for this is my wife, Nancy. Uh, this is our dog, Levi. He has a mini Australian Shepherd, about four years old. And uh, my wife found Bulletproof Chaining on Google, has amazing reviews, and we had our dog, Levi, had a little bit of aggression problems at, at our home dogs with our two others, and um, just wanted to support with while I'm at work being a firefighter at her at home with our child that's five months and um, just a little bit more commands and bulletproof training helped us do that. Um, helped us feel confident through their callers and voice commands that make us feel a little bit safer I think at home now. Yeah, um, and I'm looking forward to him listening to me a little bit more um, because I just, I guess I'm more of the gentle tone in the house and um, before today, he just does not listen to me unless it's to come for cuddles. So I'm looking forward to being more of an authoritative figure in our home now. So.